Hey traders, this is T Bradley 90 from the My Investing Club chat. I'm one of the top mentors and moderators in chat. As a special gift to our viewers on YouTube, we have created a free two hour course to help teach you how to start a consistently profitable trading business and identify high paying setups in just 30 days. There will be limited seating every week, so register for the course and reserve your spot now using the link in the description. As a special bonus for everyone that watches the entire video, we will give you the link to a free 10 hour additional mini course that has never been released to the public. Register now before all slots completely fill up. This week, we have a very special video for you guys as one of our consistently profitable members wanted to give back to the community by creating a free options course for our members. And while this is just a preview of the full length video, if you want to watch the full length or any of our exclusive content, then become a member of MIC. Hello, this is John, AK Wildlife in MIC Chat, back for episode number three of Option Basics. Just a quick review of what we discussed in the first two episodes. We talked about uh, what options are and how are they used, predominantly for insurance um, purposes on stocks positions. Um, some people use a speculation, so they buy or sell puts or calls, uh, generate income on positions that they have, and uh, also stock acquisition. We talked about the two types of options, calls and puts. We discussed, discussed option strings, that, which is an example you see right here for the S&P 500, ticker is SPY. So here's an option string. The naming convention, which is which would be the string of characters that had the one that we went over was the SPY, so the SPY, and then the next two digits would be the year, the next two after that would be the month, the day it expires, this call or put would be a C or P, and then the last uh, part of it would be the strike price. So in every successful business has some sort of edge that gives them a long-term advantage over someone else or in the marketplace. So how does a company generate revenue or um, acquire customers. So in this case as traders we want to know what the edges and what the probabilities are of that successful outcome on that trade. So as option traders our edge is in implied volatility. So a lot of people ask well why? Why is it in the implied volatility? So the textbook definition um, is you can be you can find a pretty good example at tastytrade.com I kind of put the link but it talks about what implied volatility or commonly referred to as IV. Implied volatility or IV is probably one of the most important metrics to understand and be aware as option traders. However, in the simplest terms, IV is determined by the current price of option contracts on a particular stock or future. So that's important because a lot of people believe that implied volatility dictates price and that's that's not true implied volatility is determined by the current price of option contracts and the current price is dictated by market participants so just like when we talk about a low float stock that has a low um, as far as low availability the more participants the more buyers there drives at the price so as, as their supply is low if their supply low then the price goes up if this if the demand or excuse me the de demand is low, is high price goes up if supply is high price goes down in this case as more people are buying options they drive up the price because generally um, they are doing that because of some unknown or uncertainty in the market so uh, going back to implied volatility, it's a represent. It's represented as a percentage that indicates the annualized ex expected one standard devi deviation range of a stock based on option pricing. And we'll talk uh, what standard deviation is down below, but let's continue with an example. So, if we have an IV of twenty five on a two hundred dollar stock, it represents that one standard deviation range of fifty dollars and here's the calculation 0.25 times 200 equals fifty dollars which would be the expectation over that year so in the example of this two hundred dollars the stock and the stock of IV of 25 would mean that there is an implied 68 percent probability that the stock would settle or trade between 150 and 250 over the next year 
so coming full circle into talking a little bit more about standard deviation, it comes out of our statistic class. So for those of you that have had some exposure in statistics, you know what one standard deviation means. But essentially, all we're talking about is that 68.2% of the time it is one standard deviation. The outcomes or whatever your the outcomes would be would fall in that range. So when talking about IV, one standard deviation essentially means that there's a, approximately a 68% chance or probability that the stock will settle within that range of prices as determined by option pricing. In this case, that's the range that we gave right here. So it's a 68% chance that this $200 stock will trade between 150 and 250 sometime in the next year. Hey traders, this is Tosh. I go by T Bradley 90 in the My Investing Club chat. Just wanted to reach out and say if you have any questions about MIC, joining MIC, maybe you're a member already, you have three ways to contact myself personally and through MIC. You can hit our social media, you can hit me through PMs in chat, or you can contact us through my email at tosh at myinvestingclub.com. That's T O S H at myinvestingclub.com. I will get back to you in a timely manner, and I'm saying this because I'm here to help, and I don't want anybody to be afraid to reach out and ask any question that they have. We are here for you guys. All right, see you guys.